I, I don't know why somebody would want to give somebody else uh, something that dies. It, it kind of seems like a weird concept to me. Like you're like, oh my God, I love you. Here's some flowers. And then in a couple of days it dies. Electric scooters, those are definitely underrated because uh, like cities are getting so um, like just busy and compact that we're definitely gonna need to have like options that are not like big cars and everything like that. If you look like even like Europe, you go to like the Netherlands or anything like that, like they have like tons of bikes and scooters and little cars and everything like that. And we have these like big massive SUVs and we're trying to get them around in these like little cities. It's just like, Overall, it's just not going to work. So it's definitely, those are underrated, even though you can kind of look goofy on them. Co-working spaces. Co-working spaces. Um, underrated to the, like, if you're really good at working in, like, an open concept space, like, if you are if you enjoy, like, people around you, it's, it's great because, like, community-wise, like, I, I don't know how you beat, like, a thing like a WeWork because there's just, like, so many creative people around you that you can honestly, like, get pretty much anything out of that experience that you want but somebody like myself that enjoys like quiet uh critical thinking it, it's not as good but I, I could definitely see it as an advantage super bowl commercials super bowl commercials um you know i think those are underrated even though they're extremely expensive and, and you know i think tv is kind of dying and all that from an advertising perspective there's only like one event where we all kind of like stop and like watch the commercials like we put our phones down we, we kind of like watch to see what's going to happen so like if you're going to spend a lot of money to get attention that's probably going to be your best value in tv kylie jenner kylie jenner she's underrated like i don't i'm not going to talk about anything like personal life but like from a business perspective anybody that can build a billion dollar company with next to nothing in terms of like marketing assets and, and everything just building on like new age digital influencing and, and all that kind of stuff like she's uh, obviously I, I don't know enough to know if there's like people behind that brand or if it's actually just Kylie that's making a lot of these decisions but you know I'm impressed by the by how fast she can grow that company Taco Bell Taco Bell Taco Bell is underrated um, I mean it's delicious uh, I mean like I know it's not real Mexican but I can get down on it anytime. Music festivals. Music festivals are overrated, even though I've been to a lot of them. I think that for the most part, music festivals are, are generally in, now they're kind of like putting them in major cities. So um, if you live in a major city, like I do in Austin, Texas, it's kind of hard to uh, kind of let yourself go when you can also see your, your high rise building in the background because you're really not, <laughs> you're not leaving your city. Um, but I think like Coachella or Bonnaroo or you know a couple of those other festivals that you're kind of like in the middle of nowhere, those are definitely underrated because you can kind of get out and kind of uh, release, be in a different world and, and kind of enjoy the music a little bit, so. Weddings. Weddings. Weddings are definitely overrated. Um, I'm not married, so all you married people, maybe you can tell me something different, but. Uh, <laughs> It's it, to me. It's just a contract. So if you love somebody, I don't know if you need to like go and spend what's it now thirty five thousand dollars or something's like the average wedding price. So I mean, I think you could do something a lot more simplistic to show somebody you love them over like some humongous uh, blown out event that puts people in stressful situations and then they end up like going into debt and kind of hating each other. I'm not a love hater. I just think there's a different way of doing it. Cold brew coffee. Cold brew coffee. Um, I mean, I'll preface this statement by saying I do not like coffee, but if I'm going to uh, choose a coffee, I'm definitely going to do cold brew because it's probably the least bitter. So I think cold brew in general is, is underrated. Um, categorically, from like a CPG perspective, I think it's got like a lot more growth involved with it, even though there's like a ton of people in the space. I still think it's uh, it's got a lot of room to grow. So um, I guess I don't know, it's a possible. Halo Top and healthy ice creams. Halo Top and healthy ice creams. I mean, as an ice cream lover, and if you are a true ice cream lover, you cannot like any of those things. They just taste like gritty sand. I don't care what people say. Th those things are overrated. Like, if you're going to have like, calories, if you're going to enjoy something, just eat some, like, good ice cream. Like, who cares about the fat and the carbs and whatever? Like, 
it's delicious. I don't know why I need to like try to be fake and eat these like sand uh, water things. College. College. Co I mean, this is tough for me because like, if you would have asked me this question maybe like five, maybe even like three years ago, I probably I probably would have given you a little bit different of an answer. But I definitely think it's overrated for the vast majority of professions. Like outside of, you know, a lawyer and a doctor and you know some of those like super professional degrees where you need to get like two three degrees. I think you know those things you definitely need to continue to go to college. But a lot of these kids going to college now they you know they go into debt fifty seventy five hundred thousand dollars and they have no idea what they want to do or and when they get out they don't do anything that has to do with their their major so to me I think you could probably get just as good of a um, education by maybe doing like some internships or you know honestly just like getting crazy intense on subjects uh, over the internet like pretty much at this point all the information you would ever need to learn is on the internet so like if you are self-driven I think it's you know it's something you probably don't need to do even though the job market you know people they're still saying you need to get this college degree to get that college degree. But honestly, I think in the next probably like five to seven years, that's gonna be less and less. Tesla. Tesla. Are we talking Tesla the car or Tesla? Oh, okay, so. Um, overrated, I mean, I, I like the, con I mean, I, it's tough for me to say because I love Elon Musk, um, but like from a perspective of just like a car company, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm not impressed with cars overall, and I think that like most of the other car companies at this point, like BMW, even Chevy, Ford, whatever, they're all looking past electric and looking at like autonomous. I don't know, like you know, long term, if if Tesla is going to have like that humongous advantage that other people have. So I, I don't know. I, I I think overall it's probably going to be overrated if we're just talking cars. If we're talking like Tesla rolling into like Solar City and the Boring Company and SpaceX, like if he puts all those in, a, in like a alphabet Google like style company, then it's definitely underrated, but you know, who knows if that ever happens.